hi guys welcome to my channel today i'll be doing this crochet beret i'm using a crochet hook 3.5 millimeters and yarn number four as you can hear me my english is not perfect but a lot of people a lot of people is uh, asking me for english videos so i'm doing my best i will not talk too much just the basic instructions hope this is good for you okay start with chain four and work 13 double crochet in the beginning chain this 13 crochet stitches plus chain 3 make 14 stitches for the first round when you finish work a slip stitch to the end 14 stitches chain 3 and in the next space work 2 double crochet together That makes an increasing then you have to work another two double crochet together so work two double crochet together in each stitch around okay you're gonna have 28 stitches slip a stitch to the end and work chain three in the next work an increasing or an increase two double crochet together after that one double crochet alone or individual crochet after that two double crochet together so you're gonna repeat that two double crochet together one individual so double crochet one individual repeat that all around a slip stitch to the end and start the next round with chain three two double crochet together and work two double crochet individuals two individuals crochet stitches one and two then work the two double crochet together here this is one and two so after that two individuals crochet stitches or double crochet so you're gonna repeat that two double crochet together and two individuals all around to the end you're gonna finish with one double crochet plus the chains from the beginning that makes two individuals a slip a stitch to the end and start start with chain three for the next round make the increase two double crochet together and you're gonna work three individuals crochet double crochet okay three and then two together so basically you're gonna repeat the pattern to the end two together three individuals two, two together three individuals repeat that all across to the end
you're gonna finish with two individuals plus the beginning chains makes three individuals chain three and the same thing just follow the potter work the two together and four individuals double crochet as you can see each round is increasing one individual double crochet so follow the potter two together four individuals two together four individuals work that to the end okay here i made one two three four five six seven eight rounds it's the same theme i will just keep increasing the individuals one two three four five six there's six individuals in this round for the eighth round you want to work one increase eight individuals one increase eight individuals so we made eight rounds if you are working a beret for adult you have to work eight rounds but if you want to make this for a girl little girl you can make just seven rounds for a girl of maybe seven or years old so this is the circle and i finish with five individual plus chains make six For the next round, you're gonna work a one double crochet in each stitch around. No increases, just one double crochet in one space. You're gonna get 112 stitches. Repeat that, all the stitches around. And work a slip stitch to the end. As you can see, the two last rounds are gonna have the same one hundred twelve stitches. This circle is 23 and a half, almost 24 centimeters. This is the size for adult. Okay, for the next round, you're gonna work loops so chain three let's keep three stitches in the next work a single crochet chain three let's keep one two three in the next four in the next work a single crochet one more time chain three let's keep three in the next a single crochet you're gonna repeat that all around to the end here we are ending with chain three
a single crochet in the last one and for the next round you're gonna work in each loop around and you have to flip your work flip your circle like this and we're gonna start the next round for the next round work a slip stitch and chain three work for double crochet plus the beginning chains make that makes five double crochet and work that for the next loop another five double crochet two three four and five basically you have to work five double crochet in each loop around with no chains this is how it looks work a, a slip stitch on the top of the beginning chains okay for the next round you have to work 10 front pass double crochet together so work the first the first is a front post single crochet plus chain three one two three and the next nine stitches work are working like front pass double crochet the next is another but as you can see you have to keep keep them on your hook also as you can see is through one loop through two loops one more time one loop two loops this is how you have to work the 10 front paws double crochet for this pattern when you have your 10 yarn over pull through the 10 stitches chain one and you're done chain three single crochet to the next space chain three again and you're gonna work the next 10 front plus double crochet two three four and 10 after your 10 yarn over pull through the 10 stitches chain one and chain three and single crochet in the next space chain three again and you're gonna work the next 10 from pause double crochet you have to repeat the pattern all across to the end as you can see 
the style of your stitch is behind behind the work that's what I say you have to flip your circle in order to make this stitch here we are ending chain 3 and a single crochet in the next space a slip stitch in the next loop and you're gonna work five double crochet five double crochet in each loop around four five work another five another five double crochet in the next loop as I told you you have to work five double crochet in each loop around to the end Here we are ending with the last five double crochet. And work a slip stitch in the last stitch. Work five slip stitches to reach the next the next group of five double crochet. After that, you're gonna start with a front pause single crochet plus chain three. And work that 10 front pass double crochet together that's three four five and work another five six seven
asked him. Yarn over, pull through the thin, through the thin stitches, chain one for secure, and chain three, single crochet in the next space, chain three again, and you want to work another thin front pass double crochet, and you want to repeat that all across to the end Okay, after you got your 10 stitches, yarn over and pull through, chain 1 and chain 3 and slip stitch in the beginning single crochet. So you finish this 3D stitch as you can see, it's so beautiful. I like it so much. And you can flip. Now you can flip your work. Flip your circle. So you have your stitches on the right side and slip stitch to the next loop and work chain three and three more double crochet 
three plus the chains makes four and work another four double crochet in the next loop so repeat that all across to the end you're gonna have 112 stitches Two, three, and four. This is how it looks. Groups of four double crochet. Here we are ending with the last four double crochet. slip a stitch in the last on the top of the beginning chains okay for the next round you're gonna we're gonna start with the elastic or stretching stitch so work a front pass single crochet chain two For the next back front back pause double crochet in the next front pause double crochet in the next back pause double crochet in the next front pause double crochet so repeat that repeat the pattern all cross to the end finish with a back pause double crochet and a slip stitch in the beginning from pass double crochet this is how it looks and then for the next round you want you just have to follow the pattern so where where there is a front pause work a front pause where there is a back pause, work a pass a back pause. So back pause, front pause, back pause, front pause, And just follow the potter all the stitches across to the end I made six rounds of a stretching or elastic stitch this is how it looks it's so so beautiful I love it I hope I hope you like it too remember give me a thumb up share it in your Facebook subscribe if you are not subscribing yet Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Bye-bye. God bless you.